Hi everyone, my name is Noman and today I am gonna teach you about the PLC hardware. We will start with the basic devices that are using the PLC hardware. Then later on we will jump up with the more advanced stuff. So let's start with the basic components of the PLC hardware. You can see the first guy that comes in, in uh, any particular PLC is a power supply but before that I'm gonna s this is the rack that we have where we will have different components of the PLC different uh, devices you can say that are gonna be installed and each device like that for you can see power supply will use one slot of the PLC so you can see that that's uh, this particular PLC have one two three four five six so this PLC is using six slots of the rack so this rack is actually where you mount these all uh, stuff there so this is rack and the slot is one place for mounting one uh, one device in here so let's start with the basic understanding again think of light that we normally push a push a button and light turn off now let's take out if you want to do that job by using a PLC stuff how we will accomplish it for that what we need is first is our input and that input need to be processed in a PLC and if it need to be processed in a PLC definitely we need to have uh, digital in card for that so if in the case you will get the signals in the digital card then you will process it, this particular signal through the CPU in and into the CPU whatever the logic you have implemented in there the CPU will decide something and based on the logic that you have implemented in there so then based on that you will have an output so that particular output now need to be processed to some final control element in this case it's in a like light is in a final control I mean element final control element is something that obeys whatever the instructions come in from the PLC so uh, take this particular example and let's relate it with the PLC hardware so input is coming input is going to the input module and now for example we have set a logic inside like if someone press the button then this particular PLC will initiate a command towards a final control element in this case it's a light that we have to turn on the light now so uh, hope so you get the point like input is actually some like action on and off here and it's processed through input card and then it CPU is there the program is written there and CPU will initiate a command to the output card why we need an output card here it's because definitely we the, the signals that come in from PLC CPU CPU is all about digital word so that's a digital output that it's like one or zero so once one is initiated from the PLC it will go through the output module and output module uh, is there to actually act as an interface between final control element and your CPU and main job of it is to convert a digital signal to analog because we here what we need is in the case is 24 uh, like for example against one it will generate 24 output and uh, 24 is going to uh, uh, energize some relay whatsoever a contactor and based on that your final particular whatever the device like in this case is a light it will be turned on so the PLC hardware is right in front of you power supplies comes in the first slot of the track and second slot 
you have a CPU. CPU is a brain of the PLC. Now if you want to process the digital signals, DI, digital input card, will come in here first and digital output card right after that and then if you have some analog signals by analog signal mean like the signals that are continuously changing for example temperature level pressure flow these are the signals that are analog signals to process these signals what we need to do is here we have to uh, install analog input card to interface with the input or of the sensors and and transmitters and then after that it will pass through the CPU and CPU will have to do the job of like whatever the logic that you have implemented inside it will execute that logic and based on that it will generate the output and now this output need to be like we we definitely need to have an output card for you know uh, once PLC CPU is generating some output based on that it will definitely execute whatever the action that need to be done at the output side of the PLC like if in the case we need to for example activate some valve we need to open it up or close the valve that can be done there let's take an example of the analog signals like oil level tank oil uh, tank level sorry and uh, the level of the tank is coming here in, through this particular card uh, itself and after that this level will be like the whatever the value is there is normally the value that come in from the field is 4 to 20 milliampere I will make another video to explain about it for what is 4 to 20 milliampere and why we use that but for now you just understand like the signals that come in uh, from the transmitter is 4 to 20 milliampere and that will come on towards your analog input card and job of input card we have already prop discussed that and based on that you know once analog input card is interfaced with the CPU and now CPU will will come in here and do the job of like a brain and after that it will initiate and some actions to do like for example if level of the tank is increasing then we need to turn off the control valve like whatever that control valve is there at the upside source valve you can say and we need to actually close that valve so uh, that's the hardware of the PLC so you can see here the output of that that is coming from the PLC will come definitely through output module the analog in output module here and it will definitely go now again we need to convert the signals that that particular control volume stand so that's the case here you, we can generate 4 to 20 milliampere either a 24 volt based on what type of the wall we are using like in the case we are using a wall that regulates uh, in between uh, you know some range of the flow then it's like a different scenario where we will use 4 to 20 milliampere or 0 to 10 volt and in the case if it is just open and close then we can just use 24 or 0 so for that we definitely need to have uh, DO not AO not analog output card digital output card so based on what actions we are actually executing we have to think about the PLC hardware and there are some other modules like prof for profibus and there is a CP module we will come in detailed discussion about that and that's it for today and if you have any question you can write in there in the comments later on whenever I will have uh, time I will definitely revert back to you Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like it, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe this channel. For subscribing, all you have to do is you have to come on this subscribe button right over here. Click on that and you're not done yet because you have to put on notification here. Send me all notification for this channel and then save. By this way, you will not miss any video from IT and Automation Academy. That's all. Papa kehte hai bada naam karega Beta humara aisa kaam karega Magar ye to koi na jane Te meri manz
दिल 